Busy day up in Ottawa with district cross country meets for divisions two and three. St. Mary's running in division two and Kelly Wilker comes in fresh off her victory at the Western Buckeye League meet last weekend. As a team, the Lady Riders finished fourth with the Fines taking the team honor. Lady Bulldogs also running today in Ottawa Park. Top four teams from each race and the top 16 individuals not on a qualifying team advance on to regionals in Tiffin. We start out with the girls race. Shawnee's Faith Baxter edges out St. Mary's Kelly Wilker to take second. Then Liberty Benton's Megan Bartell would finish for fourth place. Shawnee's Ann Hardy would round out the top five. Liberty Benton takes home the title. We take a look at the boys race now. A wall of defiance. Zach John Kroll, Zach Lockmiller, and Hayden Howerton, one, two, and three. Then teammate Jesse Slatter would finish giving defiance one through four. Van Wertz. Cade Fleming would finish fifth, followed by yet another Defiance runner, Nathan Schlatter, in sixth. No surprise after that, Defiance takes home the district title, followed by Van Wert as we take a look at the standings. For the girls' race, as we said, Liberty Benton taking it home, Defiance, followed by St. Mary's, Van Wert, and Shawnee there in the fifth position. Over on the boys' side, we said Defiance taking home the district title, no surprise there after their performance. Van Wert, Eastwood, Liberty Benton, and Shawnee rounding out that top five. So that was Division 2, now let's go to Division 3. Division 3 is so big they had to split it up into two races. So we begin with race number one and the boys first. And it's Antwerp Sam Williamson, he's the district champ, crossing in 15-38. Ottoville's Brennan Seifger, the runner-up. And another Antwerp runner, Eric Bushin, takes third. And then a couple of local guys going four and five with Minster's Ben Butler in fourth and for recoveries, Travis Sutter in fifth. Now to the girls race. And Minster has dominated all season long and that would be no different here in this one. Casey Barnhorse takes first, followed by four other Lady Wildcat runners as they go one through five. Morgan Pohl, Cassie Francis, Julius Slonkowski, and Maggie Myring all in a row. And let's take a look at the team results now. It's a sweep for Minster, 15 points. Lincoln View, Fort Recovery, and Marion Wilco are all advancing on to regionals, along with Allison Helmke of Tenora and Andrea Heitkamp of New Bremen individuals advancing. Now for the boys, Minster again in first. Lincoln View, Ayersville, and Antwerp are moving on to regionals. Brandon Seifker from Ottaville, Travis Sutter of Fort Recovery, Jacob Barnett of Bluffton, Curtis Pullman, DSJ, Matt Garkey of Parkway, and Ben Schlemmer of Parkway also advancing on to Tip. Say, so Henry boys really pumped up for their race here today as we pick up with the boys race. And New Bremen's Court Speckman will take first, followed by Tenora's Andrew Ehlers in second, then St. Henry's Devin Hillscamp third, Columbus Grove's Preston Burbaker fourth, and Patrick Henry's Nathan Bostelman fifth. Now we'll take a look at the girls here. LCC's Emily Shreenan claims first. We'll see her across the finish line here, followed by Holgate's Emma Willett and her teammate Gabby Willett in third. Bluffton's Elizabeth Nisley would take fourth, and St. Henry's Lindsay Scholes would round out the top five. We take a look at the team results for both sides. For the girls, St. Henry taking the top spot, followed by Holgate, Grove, Kaleida, and Crestview rounding out the top five there. As we take a look at the boys' side of things, New Bremen takes first, followed closely behind by St. Henry, Crestview, Grove, and Tenora rounding out that top five. 